Uh, today on Chris Does What, I'm going to do a review of the laptop I chose to replace, of course, my HP laptop. It's an ASUS model, so stay tuned and we'll go over it. Okay guys, so I've got this Acer laptop or Asus laptop right here and it has a full keyboard so I can go all the way across it, no issues. It has of course your, your function keys up here at the top. This is a i7 core processor. It's a two-in-one flip screen. So this screen will flip all the way over and it will look like a big tablet. Of course, I'm not using my stand. I'm just using one hand. So here's your i7 core processor. I need to get a camera with a better focus. So that's i7 core. And then here it shows that it does a 360 flip. It's a metallic look. So this metallic look. It seems to be well put together. I've actually been using this for about three months. So pretty well put together. Has decent sound. Let me uh, see if I can. Of course you won't get a grasp of what sound like, what it sounds like on here but guys Today on Chris does one. I must have a chair to sit in because he had to have a chair. And the wow. are killing me. So here it is. And but that's the sound. So decent sound. And you go here and you look at this side, you have two USBs, your, your, mount, your uh, Windows button, you have your volume up and down, and then a power button. And go over here, you have a microphone headset combo jack. So this will actually work with the microphone that comes with your cell phone. Uh, this is USB, HDMI, SD video, network cable, and your power adapter plug-in. The battery life on this thing is really good. You see here's, here's the size card that goes in here. But the battery life on this thing is really reasonable and I can get if I set it to dim and uh, I set it to battery saver mode, I can get about four, five hours. So now let's go over the specs. Okay, I've used uh, user benchmark in the past for all the laptop reviews I've done thus far. So why not use it again? Well, let's go look at the task manager real quick. So, task manager, the performance of this, of course, this is a um, i7 core processor with 8 gigs of RAM. Let's look at all the cores. So, here's the four cores. And then we go to startup. Of course this is what starts up so I have flex media server this is shares video videos I create to my TV I have AVG because I'm a cheap ass and I don't want to pay for antivirus and then this mystery a AVG so now that you see what's running 
let's go ahead and I will stop Flex. Okay, so I've stopped some of the things running on this uh, computer. Let's go ahead and run user benchmark. And see how well this computer performs. I said I've been using this computer for about three months. I use it for video editing, I use it for reading, and of course, watching stupid videos on YouTube. The hard drive on this computer is a, is a hybrid HDD SSD hard drive. So I found that this benchmark, which I've already ran, does not benchmark that hard drive very well. So we won't get to see the advantage of the SSD portion of this hard drive. I can say that compared to the Lenovo that I reviewed before, this computer does not start up as quickly as Le the Lenovo, but it performs everywhere else just fine. Also, the frame, the size of this computer, is a bit large if you're flying on an airplane. It doesn't fit on the trays very well for American Airlines. The Lenovo or other 13 or 10 inch screens fit much better. Of course, I do have tablets that are that size that I can use on the plane. So hopefully we have our benchmark. Let's close. As I informed you earlier, this program would not capture the performance of the SSD drive. This uh, gaming, of course, this is not a gaming laptop. Don't game on it. It's for working. Desktop, beautiful. It is a great desktop. 43% to speed though. Workstation, surfboard. So, basically... I don't have a problem with this. It outperforms my work computer. That's a workstation. Overall status of this PC, 67th percentile. Of course, I did stop some things, so I'm not using all the running programs I have in the background, but not a bad performer. Processor, with single cores, this PC is great. Graphics, it's not a gaming PC. Graphics aren't good. Boot drive. Boot uh, drive is loca located on the mechanical partition. I don't trust the accuracy of that. I know that a true SSD drive performance is better than this on boot up. But when I'm doing video editing, things like that, the memory and the processor of this computer seem to really shine. OS version, Windows 10. And then we go through the specs. It's an i7 core processor, four cores. It's got a graphics card. It's uh it's okay. I can see the screen. It's got a hard drive. So one terabyte hard drive. Does very well. And it has memory, 8 gigs of it. This, uh, as I said, this test was done without the screen recorder on. Now if we look at battery life, I'll unplug the laptop from the battery. Okay, the battery life on this uh, PC. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. It's unplugged. I have the dimness setting on this on very low, so go ahead and click my power adjustments here, and you see I got it at zero percent. I can still read off the laptop just fine. This would not work outside, but low light levels, this is perfect for me. Turn on battery saving, and about four hours. So we started out with 94%, about four hours. 
it will probably get better. I am running software in the background that is consuming more processor. So I said about four or five hours is what the battery will last. So if you like this channel, subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. And thank you for watching.